Uh, Lee Kilby, uh, commercial manager at the Swinner Robins. Uh, first of all, let's talk about this uh, fantastic win tonight, the Robins against Somerset Rebels. I don't think we all saw uh, such a, it's going to be such a one-sided meeting tonight, but even so, the unbeaten run carries on. Yeah, I don't think anybody saw that, to be honest. But I think I think Heat 1 is a, a real defining moment, isn't it? You know, you get a 5-1 over Jason. And uh, I think that just snowball effect then. And Zach goes out and does Heat 2, and it just carries on. But I think we, we from 1 to one to 6, Zach, uh, Jack tried really hard. But from 1 to 6, man for man, we you know we beat them off the track tonight. Yeah, And from your perspective, uh, I know it's a school holidays, a uh, bank holiday as well. But uh, bumper crowd, and uh, certainly the, uh, the home fans got what they're hoping for. Yeah, we've worked really hard recently on on uh, local awareness, getting posters in as many different places as we can get, whether it's an off-licence, a chippy, a takeaway. And you know what? We've done a lot on social media as well. We've given a few ticket competitions away, and I just think it's all coming together nicely. But like you say, it, you, what you'd expect to see this on a bank holiday Monday and a school holiday. But, you know, once people get the appetite for it and this regular racing, you know, hopefully it carries on. Yeah, and uh, talking of regular racing, we're back up here again on Thursday night as well. Now, for for some fans, two meetings in in a week is is a little bit to uh, a lot to ask, isn't it, financially? But uh, hopefully, uh, one or two we know that have come here tonight that have not been here before will be hooked and we'll, and we'll come back on Thursday. Yeah, we hope so. We hope so. And, and then the problem is, is because it's not regular Saturdays or Thursdays anymore. Yeah. It's, it's very sporadic, and, but you just hope that you know those regulars that want to come that don't necessarily buy a season ticket just look ahead and go, well, we might need you know 34 quid that week. And yeah. So I'm sure we've got such a oh, great hardcore following. You know, you always get those that core of supporters that will turn up. And hopefully they will again on Thursday. We've got a nice little offer where we give every kid that came in tonight a voucher to get a free programme when they come back on Thursday. Yeah. There's a little something for mum and dad to save a couple of quid. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully they'll, they'll get behind us. And when the team are winning on track, I was going to say, it always helps if a team's winning. It makes a huge difference. It's much easier to sell a team winning than the team that's not. So, yeah, yeah, hopefully we'll get a good, a good crowd and Bellevue will be a, a, a tough meeting. But then again, we thought tonight would be a relatively yeah. tough meeting and it okay. wasn't. Right, I've got to ask you about uh, uh, your little walk you did recently for Mitch, Mitch Davey, who, uh, who was the Robins Reserve ride until he had a, a very nasty crash uh, at Birmingham against Mildenhall. Uh, first of all, uh, what's the latest from Mitch? How, how's he doing? I, know, I believe he's now out of hospital. Mitch is out of hospital. Uh, they got him back up to Glasgow, so he's at home, which to him, the, the you know the mindset of being at home and not being in the hospital, like I spoke to him yeah, yesterday, we messaged this morning, but he can just walk out into his garden and spend five minutes in the garden rather than walking through a whole a hotel, uh, yeah. hotel, hospital, hospital, hospital corridor. So mentally he's strong, mentally he's, you know, he's, he's prepared and ready for rehab and to, to, get, to get well, but the amount of broken bones he had, and the state of the lung, it's just going to be a, a long, process, long process. But he's not deteriorating in any way, which is positive. So, yeah, good. And uh, fantastic gesture by you. Uh, you walked 72 miles uh, from Birmingham to Swindon. First of all, I've got to uh, ask you, how are the feet now? Because I know, I know you did have a bit of pain here, isn't it? Yeah, no one's gone near him for a week. The kids won't go near me. No, do you know what? I, I, I got away with it lightly. I, I bought good trainers. I've got a decent insole, so I, I, I didn't go into it without any thought. Yeah. I know it was a very quick turnaround, but I did think about the process, and it was it was terrific. It was it was a, a great challenge physically. It, it, it put me under pressure, yeah. but it wasn't until I was about halfway through it, which would have been what early hours of the morning, that I actually thought this is a heck of a long way. <laughs> and I, I, I never thought I'd bitten off more than I could chew, but I knew it was going to be a, a difficult task. Yeah. And then the last five miles were absolute murder. Yeah. Absolute. But you know what, Mitch, because Mitch was in hospital at that time and he was getting medication all the time, he's WhatsApping me through the night and he's messaging me, which was terrific, because it just gave me that little bit of oomph yeah. every now and yeah. then when I needed it. And what's the, what's the latest uh, on, on how much you've raised for it all? Oh, it's mind-blowing, you know. Anybody that watches this video, I can't, I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. I think we're, we're just over £17,000, wow. which, wow. which absolutely destroys any kind of target I, I had. I, I, if, if we got to 10, I'd have been really pleased. Yeah. But... To get to £17,000 of people to dip their hands in their pockets like they've done and support it. You know, I was always going to do it. And if you come out with five grand for him, it's a bonus. But to come out with 17 is just phenomenal. It means he can, he can relax during rehab. You know, he can, he can take his time. He doesn't have to rush through. Him and Donna don't have to worry about money. So it's, 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 it's a huge amount of money and I'm incredibly grateful. And so is Mitch. He don't know what to say. You don't know what to say. I've got to ask you, have you had uh, Sri and both of them on the phone recently? <laughs> ask you if you want to team up at all? <laughs> yeah, no. Funnily enough, no, I haven't, no. no. Oh, right. Well, I can't see me doing it again in a hurry. I went no. straight into the Swindon pits and said, no one get hurt, boys. No. Straight into the Birmingham pits, no one get hurt, boys. Yeah. But you know what? I, I, I enjoy helping people, and I love Speedway, and I love what the guys put into yeah. the to the sport. So if I can do that to put something back to them, then then I'm yeah. more than happy to do it. And... Uh, 
talking of off the track, uh, you've mentioned a few things that you've been doing here at Swindon recently and also your involvement at Birmingham as well. Uh, any, anything else in the pipeline coming up? Well, we, we're, just, we're just trying to keep that continuity. We're trying to remind people that we, we've got the meetings coming on. So we've obviously got another bank holiday coming up later in the year. But we're going to work really hard on the school holidays as well. Because when, when it is the school holidays, like tonight, you yeah. see a huge difference. You see more people turning up, more kids. So there'll be a lot of kids' activities. There'll be, there'll be a lot of stuff during the, during the, the school holidays, for sure. Yeah. Um, we just want to keep that, 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 you know... Interest high. Interest high, and we want to keep running these meetings in an hour and a half. Because that's key for people. You know, if we can get yeah. done by nine, quarter past nine, it's just terrific for people. And that's what we're doing at the moment. And that is credit to Clark of the Course and everybody. So, so yeah, there'll be lots of things going on. We're going to keep running competitions to give out some tickets and some centre green experiences, which is massive. And I might even dangle a couple of uh, Legends Lounge seats as well at some point. Right, good. And uh, just last of all, I've got to ask you, I know you're a mad Arsenal fan. I am, yeah. Uh, the legend, uh, Mr Wenger's gone now, new manager in. What was your thoughts? Dick, Dick Emery. Yeah, Dick, Dick's in. Uh, I think he'd be right. He was never one of, the, one of those that was being talked about but I think he's a good step I think he's a, he's, a, he's the right man for the job uh, he's not inexperienced he's not super super experienced so we I think we've pitched ourselves in the right the right place and who knows it's not going to be this season though might be the season so after. you're looking season forward after. to uh, reaching maximum of sixth in the league next year oh, I think if we hit sixth we'll be happy <laughs> no we'll be right we'll be top four next year Fantastic. you heard it here first brilliant well thanks for your time Lee look forward Pleasure. to chatting again soon thank you guys absolutely cheers Nick.